Magandang araw sa inyo mga kaleki For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa marine S-band radar sa barko Kung paano magpalit ng magnetron sa scanner ng radar Kaya kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe and click the notification bell Para updated ka sa aking mga bagong videos About electrical ships maintenance and troubleshooting Welcome sa aking channel and you're watching Jaloy TV Okay, before anything else, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo kung ano ang itsura ng magnetron na ipapalit natin sa S-band radar doon sa radar mass. Ang maker pala ng ating radar is GRC, yung Japan Radio Company. Okay, gagawa tayo ng unboxing clip para may idea naman yung ibang viewers kung ano ang forma ng magnetron. So guys, napakaganda ng packing, very secure yung arrangement ng ating unit. Do it! Just do it! Okay, natapos na ang ating short clip about unboxing. Kaya proceed na tayo sa step number 1. Step 1. Turn off S-band and X-band radar standalone display unit. At yung main source sa uh, wheelhouse panel, off din natin yan. Siyempre, lagyan natin ng warning signs para safe tayo pag akyat sa radar mass. At aware din yung mga tao sa job order na gagawin. If you don't turn off the power, There is danger of electric shock, kaya better safe to avoid accident at always wear your PPE. After this, pwede na tayong makyat sa radar mask kung saan ang location ng ating S-band scanner. A few inches later. All right, mga kaleki, naabot na natin ang radar mass. By the way, underway pala kami, guys. Maganda ang panahon today, kaya nagrab na kami ng opportunity para makapag-replace ng magnetron. Okay, guys, ito ito yung scanner ng ating S-band radar. So bago natin tanggalin ang cover, is meron pa tayong is switch off na toggle switch. Dito mismo sa scanner. Okay din, simulan natin ang pagtatanggal sa cover.
Okay, finally nakita na natin yung ating tatanggalin na magnetron. Sa video makita natin yung modulator unit, transformer at yung magnetron. So guys, para additional safe yung trabaho natin, remove natin yung socket na to. Then before removing, measure with the connector attached. Then kung magme-measure na tayo ng voltage sa 1 and 3 pin of modulator unit J1303 connector, confirm natin guys na yung voltage of the modulation na high tension circuit falls below 1 volt. Next step is remove natin yung 3 screw para malibre yung wire ng ating old magnetron. Then after natin matanggal ng screw, ay proceed tayo sa pagtanggal ng bracket ng magnetron. When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
Okay guys, sa mga nagtataka or yung wala pang idea kung bakit nag-replace ako ng magnetron sa S-band radar, ginagawa to as per instruction manual na every 4,000 running hours, required talaga palitan ang magnetron because use of parts over the service life can cause a system failure. So, maaaring magkaproblema ang system in the future kung hindi na may maintain ang replacement of major parts. Kaya, konting knowledge sharing lang naman mga sir. After replacement work, we will carry out some testing and second mate will execute the rest of the job. So step 1, turn on the power supply of the display unit of the radar and fully take preheating time. A standby state is maintained about 20 to 30 minutes. 20 minutes later. So guys, after ng preheating time is magtransmit tayo una sa short pulse range then switching to long pulse range for about 5 minutes for each pulse just go to menu by pushing it for a long time then enter 0 to access the serviceman menu then open the tuning adjustment screen and perform the tuning adjustment and select enter by the way meron naman itong manual para masundan nyo talaga ang step by step procedure for transmitting in short and long range pulse then tune adjustment after also check magnetron current that 6 to 9 scale is shown with the test menu for long range state then after all the tune adjustments are done pwede na natin i-reset to 0 ang TX time ng ating radar the purpose of resetting the TX time is para malaman natin kung kailan na naman ang next magnetron renewal
Okay then, thank you very much sa mga nanood ng video until the end. At sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe, please subscribe for more videos regarding sa aking journey on board. I will be updating you soon for my next video so please also don't forget to hit the notification bell. Marami pa akong troubleshooting videos na isi-share sa inyo guys. See you on my next vlog. Bye!